Okay, so I got everything tightened up. You can see I'm using these clamps. Got them from Missouri Wind Cellar. You can see how it's even cinched down on it. I got it so tight. There's no rattle. Good for the wind. And now, you can see the cable's loose. So I've got the clamp welded going to a pulley, going down to this other pulley down at the bottom cable, the remote, that's it, you just keep, that's it, all I gotta do is unhook it, I'll tie wrap it here, follow the, the deck down and make it nice, that way it's not flopping in the wind, and that's it, so the last thing to do is three phase disconnect, we're good, so I appreciate you watching, this is uh, Jebediah, the uh, Amish electrician, once again, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. So, we turned the camera back on. With that owl tail, of course the camera and Murphy's Law are kicking in. We turn the camera on and everything stops. It's already tracking 100% better. It's already wanting to turn. It's moving. I haven't checked the amp meter yet for power, but my main goal was to put that tail on and I figured why I had the turbine down, I might as well go ahead and update the PMA on it. So uh, it's already spun. It seems like it's quieter. I don't know if that other PMA had a grinding bearing in it. I just know it's running quieter. So, uh, so far so good. I'll do an update to this video, just maybe a couple weeks, a couple months or just whenever, but whatever. But uh, so far, I'm happy with the product. Uh, Thermodyne, is a, it bolted right up, and it's almost scary how much it was a direct fit, even the tail. I didn't have to even drill the tail. So uh, either two guys are seeing what it, the other guy's doing, or somebody's ripping somebody off, or maybe there's only a couple of things you can do with the turbine, but that tail bolted right up. So uh, I'm happy with it. It's looking good, and I'm just going to button everything up. And like I said, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Please subscribe. We got more videos coming. Thank you.